and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV Video Production Program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. On Tuesday, the St. Mary's Commissioners denied a request by the school board to use $1.5 million of its fund balance to return to teachers and other employees through health insurance premium holidays. In the past, the school system has used money refunded by its health insurance company to pay for its employees' health insurance premiums for one or more paychecks. That was again this year's plan, until the county commissioners said no. As a reconciliation of the fiscal 2019, the Board of Education budgeted $4 million of its unassized fund balance for the current fiscal year. Veterans in the central and southern part of St. Mary's will no longer have to travel long distances for patient care once the new community clinic in Lexington Park opens next month. To celebrate, veterans, veteran affair representatives, and local and state officials attended a ribbon cutting ceremony on Friday for the Washington DC VA Medical Center's community-based outpatient clinic across the street from Great Mills High School. Gloria Hairston, the medical center's director of public affairs said, they served us first so, they served us first so rather, so it's our first chance to give back. A number of temporary jobs will soon be opening up for people looking to make a little extra money and to help fulfill what is a constitutional mandate, the decennial count of the country's population. The U.S. Census Bureau is recruiting thousands of workers for temporary jobs available nationwide in the advance of the 2020 census. That includes here in St. Mary's County. The 2020 Census Jobs website allows applicants to apply for a range of positions, including recruiting assistants, office operations supervisors, clerks, census field supervisors, and census takers. The position will be flexible work hours, including daytime, evenings, and weekends. A parental advisory group is looking to add more parents with children receiving special education to its committee. The Citizens Advisory Committee for Special Education, or CACSE, meets once a month to discuss improving services, shaping policies, and resolving problems. The state-mandated group works to provide advice and counsel to the Board of Education on matters related to students with disabilities. Mary Ann Tomasic, representing Spring Ridge Middle School, said, The biggest thing is just to raise awareness. During last week's State of the Schools address, Superintendent Scott Smith read and answered a few questions written by the audience. Smith read from a yellow sheet of paper, at least eight Maryland school systems have worked with their county libraries to get fine free library cards for all students. Parents may opt out. There's no cost to parents or the school and students have access to the library online resources. May we work with you on that? Smith asked who wrote the question, to which Michael Blackwell, director of St. Mary's County Library, fessed up as a culprit. Smith thanked him for his question and answered yes. Eddie Baugh won his first bout at the Fairfax Boxing Gym in Fairfax, Virginia. In this picture, shown on the left, Ba is seen celebrating this first win at a live boxing show on Saturday, presented by Knowledge Boxing Center at St. Mary's College of Maryland. This image displays Alex Holt, shown on the left, of Kicked Up Fitness in Annapolis, throwing a punch at Eddie Ba at the Fairfax Boxing Gym during the Knowledge Boxing Center's live boxing show at St. Mary's College of Maryland, held Saturday. The Leonardtown Raiders were hoping to cap off an undefeated season on Saturday. However, the Vikings had other plans. The Class 4A State Boys Soccer State Championship game took place at Loyola's University Ridley Athletic Complex, where the Vikings of Montgomery County were able to jump on the Raiders with a 3-1 win to defend their state title. For Leonardtown, the loss is the team's only defeat of the season. Raiders head coach Robert Horst said, Leonardtown is a strong program. We have been in, I think, the toughest region year after year. For the last 10 years, we have gone up against very tough squads in the region. We just felt a little bit short today. Kobe Harris, one of 17 Leonardtown seniors, scored the lone goal for the Raiders in the second half with about nine minutes left in the game. Harris said, we were able to make history that no other boys team at Leonardtown had done. I was proud of us. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James Cain. Signing off.